Hey, Ranger Terry here today at Hunting Island State Park. I'm back in the saddle and ready to ride. We're going to do a, a easy trail or two, as well as maybe a more challenging trail. So hopefully you'll enjoy the video. All right, there's lots of options at Hunting Island. You can start uh, riding at the Nature Center, which is where I'm going to do it. Uh, you can also go to the day use area, the visitor center. <laughs> Uh, the campground so lots of different areas to start from uh, but this we're going to start at the nature center so let's let's get going all right that first little short uh, segue or trail was uh, a little bumpy but this is the reason i came down to it this is a footbridge across the old lagoon and this is where we're gonna jump off the bike and just walk over to the beach real quick just to show you uh, that this trail is not very long but worth the short little haul over. good area uh, to check out an osprey nest or two up in some of the dead ponds so once you're over here uh, there's there's a couple things to look for there's the beach all right all right I just want to stop on the bridge real quick that bird right there was a painted bunting uh, the other day at Edisto we had a chance to see some painted buntings flitting around uh, on the forest floor but here we get a chance to hear it more than see it all right so with that done we're going to go ahead and cross the bridge take a right and head down the trail that will follow the lagoon Just a quick look at the trail map here at Hunting Island, just to show you all the options that are available to you to come out and ride. Uh, that was the Lagoon Trail that we just did. Um, looks like about a mile and a half in that short ride. So we're gonna hop on over um, to the Maritime Forest Trail, which is about two miles. And uh, then eventually we're gonna get over to a segment of the Rattlesnake Trail. So. Uh, let's get back out on the trail. Alright, due to lots of flooding on the trail at that point, uh, it was time to turn around and head back up the Maritime Forest Trail, uh, head back toward the Nature Center. Uh, it will certainly be a, an easier ride going back up that way. But along the way, we're going to jump off the Maritime Forest Trail and head on over to the Rattlesnake, Diamondback Rattlesnake Trail, uh, which is certainly a little bit more challenging of a ride. Uh, so get ready for a bumpy, bumpy watch. All right, one of the things that happens frequently in the summertime is afternoon pop-up thunderstorms. And as you can see, we've got some uh, weather coming in, so I'm gonna delay the uh, Diamondback Rattlesnake ride and let that dangerous cell go through. All right, so as we said earlier, we're gonna do the uh, little bit more challenging, technically, uh, Diamondback Rattlesnake Trail. Uh, 
we're going to start out at the Nature Center parking lot and we're going to ride north. So come on along. Um, you probably can't see it, but it's the orange trail and it's on the uh, left side of the map basically paralleling uh, Highway 21.
All right, so we just got off the Marsh Boardwalk Crossover Trail. Um, went from the Orange Diamondback Rattlesnake Trail uh, right now to the um, Maritime Forest Trail. But you could continue down this trail all the way to the Lagoon Trail. Um, ride right along the lagoon there, up or down, circle back toward the Nature Center. Uh, for those of you that are looking for the easy rides, um, younger kids or um, just not real experienced and don't want to go over routes and up ridges, uh, the Maritime Forest Trail is a great trail. Uh, but we just got off this, this section of the crossover and we're going to head back down that way and finish up a little bit more of the Diamondback. All right, so that was a good good ride and a hot day. I've had some water. Uh, I'll splash a little bit on my head, stay cool. But you can see uh, right at the end of the video, it's a little bit of flooding at the end, uh, depending on which way you go in the beginning. I um, had to walk the bike through it. Fortunately, I wear, wear my Ranger boots, so I kept my feet dry, but there's a little bit of water on that section, but everything else, just pretty challenging as a ride so uh, you gotta be a little bit in shape but I'm not in the greatest of shape so uh, challenge yourself like I just did and come on out and enjoy the hunting island trails all right so a few uh, variety of rides difficulty levels, uh, enjoyment factors. Uh, stopped here at the lighthouse at Hunting Island and uh, it's one of the most iconic things in the whole park service but you can see from the variety of rides I had today uh, from a really challenging physically and uh, skillfully uh, on the uh, Diamondback Rattlesnake Trail to more uh, flat and easy ride on the Maritime Forest. Uh, a scenic view on the lagoon trail or even riding the roads out here uh, to end up at something like the lighthouse just so many different rides uh, family rides and, and challenging rides so uh, take your pick and come on out to hunting island 